was uh, it was a fantastic venue. Um, the location was beautiful. The surroundings were stunning. So I didn't realise that it was an island in the loch. To be in a castle um, in the Fermanagh Lakelands was was really lovely. Um, the atmosphere was really nice. I suppose the first thing that sprung into my mind was what a superb setting and I think that actually does contribute to the learning process. So the experience is to to certainly respect the intellect and to encourage the intellect, but to recognise that the intellect is just part of our being. So we're going to uh, spend about 10 minutes in groups of three or four. Be generous to the intellect. Whenever we're in class, we see each other for four hours a week. And then all of a sudden you're living with each other 24 hours a day. You're there in such a beautiful, tranquil setting that it allowed you to focus on the what the learning was for the for the days and for the week. We all entered the process kind of at a at a level, um, but each bringing something different to that level. The Schumacher approach he gives them the opportunity to engage other parts of themselves. So not just that purely rational side of their brains, which perhaps in academia we we appeal to almost exclusively, but to other ways of knowing and other aspects of their, in, their intelligence. So they've got their rational selves, their heads, they've got their emotional selves, their emotional intelligence, how they feel about things. And then there's the, the physical sensations, how, they, how can they embody their learning in a physical way? And, and finally, how can they bring to bear their intuitive faculties? And, and we bring all those together in this, and I think that helps with that exploration, and helps build um, the exploration really of what sustainable development really means to them and how they might pursue their own roles in the future in terms of providing leadership in the future as well. You get to know people better and I think that process of doing those kinds of things together is partly what helps people feel more comfortable engaging in conversation and talking um, about the issues as well. So it, was, it was a useful part of the whole thing. It was very much you know hands on and um, about like embodiment and different sort of feelings instead of hard facts. I currently work for a, a small organization called the Sustainable Economies Law Center. There was quite a lot of hope and enthusiasm within the group. Um, the various speakers who, who came during the week had a wealth of experience to share with us. I said my experience was not something that could be taught it had to have been felt. I was really inspired about Chris Tittle's movement in Oakland, California of the Barefoot Law cafes and different things that he does over there. So there was quite a mix of people with different um, knowledge and skills and experience um, and interests. So to be able to spend more time talking to those people was really quite valuable, I thought. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed talking to Robin. I thought that he he lived and breathed his work. At Alternative Health, they've established their own policy. Well, there's a great deal of uh, talk of leadership. We've had some very interesting contributions about, as it were, leading from below, uh, in a way like a support, that a leader is actually a facilitator of others. I think in this new economy, if you like, it's almost everyone, everyone is being called on to be more creative, to develop their skills, to themselves contribute, not only to themselves, but to common projects. One of the best bits I thought was at the start of each session, uh, there was a bell that was chimed and then kind of a moment's silence and kind of an open floor for anybody to say anything that they felt or anything that they'd been thinking about. And by the last day, there was so much to be said and so many wonderful things that were being developed that they kind of became sessions in themselves.
was the opportunity to bring Schumacher into the programme for the students at Queen's represented a unique opportunity for them to come out of the conventional teaching context where the opportunities are sometimes limited to go deep, to spend time not only on the subject but to go deep in collaboration with one another. It wasn't just looking at writing and, and debating philosophical points, it was personal inquiry and how does this make you feel? I did feel that it um, helped me clarify some of the areas that I need to look into in more detail, some of the gaps in my knowledge. Everyone's having their own inquiry, everyone's wanting to get different things out of this and you're there, everyone's learning instead of people just teaching, like the people that are teaching were learning at the same time and I thought that was very important and it's something that isn't in any study I've done. I think it was um, a complementary, all-encompassing way of learning. And it has helped me in different things I've submitted since, to actually make an assignment a lot more holistic and a lot more rounded than what might actually have been what I was writing and my writing style beforehand. A big thanks to everybody who helped organise it because it really was brilliant um, and I hope other people get to have that same experience, for sure. <laughs>